Hi, I'm Shiva Reinhardt, and this is a video for yoga for low back pain. So I'm going to show you three different moves that you can do to help your low back pain, and they're all easy. One of them you may need a block for. You don't have to have the block, but the block makes it a little bit better. So the first one is cobra push-ups with the block. So the block, I like the thick ones, but either one will work, goes between your legs, close to your pelvis. Lay down on your stomach, and you want the block far enough through so that it's not um, in your way, pressing against the ground. Your hands go in front of you. This is a low cobra. Your hands go about a foot in front of you. Your elbows should be right under your shoulders. And you squeeze your legs together. So you're squeezing the block. The block is there for reference for you to squeeze against. If you don't have a block, you can use a book. If you don't have anything, you don't really have to squeeze something. You can just squeeze your legs together. But it's really important to be tucking your tailbone, engaging the glute muscles, and squeezing your legs. So you squeeze those legs. And now inhale, lift the elbows off the ground, lift the chest into the air, pull your chest forward, squeeze that block. Use your traction of your hands against the ground to pull your chest forward. Exhale, lower down. So these are the push-ups. Inhale, lift up, squeeze the block, pull your chest forward, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Squeeze the block, pull your chest forward, exhale, lower down. You're tractioning out the back here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull forward, lower down. And then a modification of this is to bring your hands far forward and to just pull. Squeeze the block that anchors your tailbone and your pelvis and pull your chest forward. It's another form of back traction. You're pulling your rib cage away from your pelvis. Keep breathing. And then release. I would recommend doing at least 10 cobra push-ups. More if you feel like it feels good and your back needs it. And maybe 10 breaths of the second version. Pulling yourself forward. This is another form of back traction, laying on your back, feet on the ground, knees are up. You take the crease of your heel, the crease of the heel of your hand, and put it into the crease of your hip. Press, take an inhale first. On exhale, press your hands against your legs. Now you may not see very much movement here. It's happening inside, we're tractioning out the low back. We're pressing the upper body away from the pelvis. So on inhale you can relax and on exhale you press. Press very strongly. Use all of your arm strength here and your lower back, I'm going to move my shirt so you can see my lower back, your lower back may come up off the floor or you may want to intentionally curve your back and press your lower back into the floor. Whichever one feels better for you Experiment with both. So again, on inhale, relax, and on exhale, press. Now I'm pressing my lower back into the floor. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press. And this time I'm not pressing my lower back into the floor. I like pressing my back into the floor. It feels better to me. It's important for you to find out which one feels better to you. Okay, last one, cross your ankle over your knee and take an inhale, exhale, reach your hands through and grab either your knee or behind your leg. If you can't reach either one, then put a strap around your knee and pull down with the strap. Either way, you're pulling your knee down towards your chest. So this is a hip stretch and a low back stretch. Whenever there's pain in the low back, usually the hips are involved. The hip um, rotators, the muscles that rotate your hip out, your leg out. 
Those get really tight too, and that can be involved with sciatica. So it's important to release them both, and this pose does. It releases the hip rotators as well as the low back. So send your breath into your low back. As you inhale, you should feel that back expanding into the ground. And on every exhale, moving a little bit deeper, pulling that knee down a little bit more. And then release on inhale, and do the other side. Cross right ankle over left knee. Again, you're moving with your breath. Inhale first. Exhale, reach the hands through, hang on to that knee, back of the leg, or strap goes around the knee. Pull that knee down towards you. On exhale. Inhale, fill the low back into the ground. Exhale, knee comes in towards you. And then on inhale, release. Now there are a lot more poses that could help your low back pain. Pretty much any yoga class will give you some relief from it as long as you take it easy and don't go into a painful place. If you have a yoga teacher that you know in your area, it can be fantastic to get a private yoga session focusing just on your problem area. And then you can learn those moves, lots of moves that you can do on your own at home to help your low back pain. Thank you for watching. Namaste.